What's up Glad? Welcome back to Gladiators Tennis. And the modern game of tennis is getting incredibly technological and advanced. Brands are coming up with new materials every year, the speeds are going, the RPMs are rising, and we as tennis players form part of that movement because we always have the latest and greatest gear and we obviously do it to show our best results on the competitive courts, but it almost seems like we sometimes forget about the fun of tennis. And what we're going to try to figure out today is whether or not the fun factor of tennis is going to increase if we get rid of the competitive factor. So check out what happened. For that, today we're gonna play with wooden rackets and we're gonna show you the best tennis ever. Yeah, Grisha? Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, wooden rackets. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see what happened here, stay tuned, okay? Thank you, Grisha. Guys, just a quick disclaimer, we weren't born in the 1900s, so the highlights might not end up being the most exciting ones, but don't judge, okay? Yeah. Alright, That's go. the confidence we need, that's let's the go, confidence let's go, let's go, we need. Alright, the first few points were an absolute mess. Right from the first few points, I was loving the wooden rack. As you might notice, I really don't mind playing slice and one-handed backhands, even with my usual racket. But with this wooden beauty, I was on another level. I could literally not put a single ball in with my backhand. Like, the sweet spot in my current racket is probably as big as the whole head of those wooden baseball bats. Plus, the stiffness? What is it? Oh my god, I could literally feel the racket bending while I was taking the shot. Serving was impossible. Second top spins? Uh, don't even want to talk about them. First serves were hard to direct, but I almost ate Star Egg at some point. With this challenge, I was really curious whether or not my game style was going to change much or not. And it did, it became even more sexier than usual. Long slices and precise volleys were simply glorious. My playing style has absolutely nothing to do with wooden rackets. I thought my two-handed backhand was flat so I could, you know, take benefit of that. Well guess what, it's not flat enough. Adding any amount of spin to the shot, 9 out of 10 times turned out to be a shot with a frame. My tops and forehands were sometimes landing in though. I have absolutely no explanation of that. Playing with these rackets was absolutely hurting me. Though I got my revenge on a smash at some point. Felt so good. Sorry, Arik. Yeah, thank you for breaking a racket that I searched for 5,000 years, finally found it and you broke it. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you. I feel like Grisha doesn't exactly understand the point of playing with a wooden racket. The guy is trying to play topspin. <laughs> Smart guy, eh? Honestly, all I had to do to win easy points against him was just hitting a short slice and figure it out at the net with my fantastic talent. Fantastic, man. All stuff, everything was better. Everything? What was better? Uh, uh, cars? Mm -hmm. Luxurious, big, long. And consumed more gas than planes nowadays. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Phones. Undestructible mm -hmm. rocks. What is your fucking iPhone now? Well, the, the thing is, all they could do is maybe sometimes make calls. Okay, TVs, TVs, TVs. TVs. Yeah, they were big, heavy, mm -hmm. like... Mm -hmm. That's not exactly a good thing, man. Fuck you, man, I'm right. <laughs> Realizing we don't really have any more rackets left and that playing the way I usually play wasn't gonna cut it, I started experimenting with, you know, alternative game styles and I actually started enjoying it. Forget the top spins and quick swing forehands. Switch to continental grip and make that swing as long as possible. Backhands, what's the point of your left hand holding the racket? It just gets on the way. Okay, so continental grip and everything one handed back. No need for this. Actually, you know what? Forget about the backhand completely and just slice away. Finally, he's starting to get it. 
And finally, we're starting to get some rallies going. Talking about the fun of tennis, I don't know when was the last time rallying was so much fun. Every shot was a pleasure and missing didn't disturb me nearly as much. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, don't spend more than one shot on the baseline and go up to the net with the first possible shot. Even if it's a defensive shot, doesn't matter. So yeah, keeping all of that in mind and not trying to finish the point within the first few shots made the rallies long and, you know what, incredibly fun. I couldn't believe it, I was enjoying playing with speeds below half-court warm-up rhythm and losing points was fun instead of frustrating. Yeah, man. Uh, I think I always played with a wooden racket because my game didn't change at all. But how does it feel for you? But I just feel like it's not flowing the way it should be. Uh -huh. And I think that's because we don't have enough class. We uh -huh. need someone who who knows how this is done. Okay. Remember that guy from the old school tennis or yes. something? We should call him. Yeah, try to call the guy. He has a phone, no? He's from 50s, man. True. Uh, I don't know. Let's send a pigeon or something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah? okay. Not long ago, I had a call from the future and somebody wanted me to show them a bit of class, you know? So I took my stuff to show them class. So let's see what I got with me here. All right. Of course, classical leather bag, of course. Then, I have two of these rackets. I think this brand doesn't even exist, not even in Wikipedia, but today I'm sponsored by it. It's called Hunter, all right? They gave me two rackets. Brand new, brand new, brand new. So that's it. I got more tennis, 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 because they're called tennis. Shoes. All right, let's go. Hey, Mr. Old School, are you ready for the match against the modern guy? Of course, I'm not nervous at all. But yes, 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 yes. My only big rival is Lord Labour, you know, so I'm not scared. Ah, okay. Sure it's something Understandable. Like that. All right. Let's go. Good luck. Thank you. Dude, grabbing my gravity after having played with the wooden rackets felt so weird. The head seemed absolutely massive, and the sensation on impact was super dampened. In a good way. As fun as playing with the wooden rackets is, they're no match for the modern frames. And as much class as the old school guy has, there's nothing he could do against a topspin forehand or a fast coming body serve. Most of the points were ending within the first few shots. And even if he did manage to push the game towards those low slices, one flick of the wrist on the topspin approach would deal with it every time. We don't need power, we need brain here. The only points that I lose were those when I lose concentration and miss because I'm stupid and that happened more than I'm willing to admit. Or if I was getting carried away by his slow dirty game style and miss because of that. Otherwise it was just pim pam pum. So yeah, basically when you play with wooden rackets, tennis changes completely. It stops being a game of power, spin and incredible speeds and becomes something like a chess game, you know, a game of intelligence. Yeah, Grisha is right. In case modern tennis wasn't already mentally demanding enough, this is even more because it's all about thinking and you know making decisions soft. and directions and, and not just speeds guys yeah and leaving me talk thank you Grisha but he's right he's right so it was fun is this is this a podcast we're doing here at this point or what's up I'm loving it I don't know but let's continue okay? yeah guys by the way would you like to 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 see another podcast Mr. Old School yes is there anything you'd like our viewers to know um, you know, 50s, 60s, um, subscribing in YouTube was a big thing. Really? Big thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So please uh, subscribe and yes, thank you. Thank and, you and, and how about Instagram and uh, the concept of following? Of course, following was even bigger for us. Yes, please follow. Yeah. Guys, also comment below what you prefer, the modern tennis or the old school, because we're really curious. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know which one. 
So guys, we really hope that you've enjoyed the highlights, especially the last ones where the uh, modern guy played the old school guy. Uh -huh. But you know, just based on that, you can kind of tell that modern racket against old racket is maybe not the best idea. Yeah, the wooden racket isn't really competent, can't really compete with the modern rackets, you know. But it's very fun, fun, more fun than a PlayStation, a bit more cheaper, so it's recommendable for you to try, for sure. Yeah, absolutely, and we're, I'm sure that we're gonna keep doing that just, just for fun, yeah. because I don't remember the last time we've had so much fun on the tennis yeah. court, right? Because yeah. it's usually always like win-win-win competition. And that kind of answers the question whether or not the fun increases if we get rid of the competition part. Because, uh, you know, you saw it, right? Plus, I want to say that uh, the racket broke not because, I mean, he's a Hulk, you know, Grisha is a Hulk, a bit more beautiful, but anyways, but the racket didn't break because of his power, uh, but it broke because the material, the wood was already old. It was okay. like dry, so, yeah. you know. Because in the old days, people were hitting the ball pretty hard too, and it wasn't breaking exactly. Right. But, but he's a Hulk, yeah, let's, let's leave it that way. <laughs> so guys, we hope you've enjoyed the video as much as we've enjoyed making it, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one, I guess. I know Bye. How to love you